Greetings from Middle Technical University, Ankara, Turkey. I am Bengi, the team leader of the rover, and today me and my teammates are going to proudly present you our new rover Luna. Metro Rover is a robotics team founded in 2018 that combines mechanical design, robotics and space technologies. The team consists of five main sub-teams, two committees and 45 undergraduate members from various departments. The sub-teams are mechanics, electronics, software, science, organization and the two committees are sponsorship and tool fixture design. As a team entering the European and Antonin Rover challenges, the team had a chance to demonstrate their commitment with the jury's special award in the first European Rover Challenge. In the following years, the team ranked 7th place in Antolin Rover Challenge 2022 and compete as a finalist in European Rover Challenge 2024. This is our container. We store most of our mechanical tools and parts in here. And we use this place mainly for manufacturing our components and handling other mechanical work. It's a compact space, but it's enough for everything we do, from cutting and drilling, to assembly and testing. Handling most of our mechanical tasks here keeps our workflow smoothly. And this is our room. We use this place most in design process. It's a more relaxed space that we can work as a team while still having access to our essential tools. This is where our designs first come to life and this is the place where our team was found. As the mechanical team, we are responsible for developing and manufacturing the rover's physical systems, like the arm, the chassis and the suspension. This year, we focused on making the rover more reliable, simpler, and easier to assemble. We used aluminum sigma profiles in the chassis design due to their ease of assembly and high modularity. Also, we used a Rutgers suspension system to effectively navigate obstacles in the rover terrain. Additionally, this year, we are integrating a steering system into the rover to enhance maneuverability. The wheels are 3D printed using TPU material and feature specially designed grosses to enhance grip on the rough terrain. Brushed DC motors housed in aluminium wheels helps to provide power to wheels. A deep sampling sign system has been designed to collect soil samples up to 30 cm depth. Vertical actuation has been reached via lead secret, while a continuing pipe has been used to prevent contamination. To rotate our soil agar, we use RS-775 with reduction. The new system is ported with wheels and atmenas. The manipulation system features a 6 degrees of freedom robotic arm with the 6th axis added using a bevel gear mechanism at wrist for increased dexterity. Interchangeable grippers allowed adaptation to various ARC25 tasks including object handling and tool use. Several components are 3D printed to allow for rapid iteration and easy field repairs. The arm is fully modular, designed for fast assembly and maintenance. Joint limits and clearance were optimized for both range and compactness while ensuring stable operation under load. Testing is ongoing to fine-tune control, precision and grip reliability in mission conditions. In the electronics team, we build all systems that give power to the rover and control its movements. We make sure the rover works safely, uses energy well and can be fixed easily if something goes wrong. We use a custom designed electronic system that is built around two separate power lines in our rovers. The main battery powers high load components like motors and motor drivers, while the logic battery powers sensitive electronics like microcontrollers and the onboard computer. This dual power approach gives us better control over power distribution, reduces electrical noise and increases safety and stability, especially during long and complex missions. All motor drivers on the rover are custom made based on Raspberry Pi Pico and communicate using Ethernet. We choose Ethernet because it gives us fast, reliable and low latency communication between subsystems even when many components are active at once. The overall system was designed to be a modular, easy to maintain and fault tolerant. As the software team, we are responsible for communications, control and autonomy of our rover. This year, our main focus is redundancy and reliability. Our rover's distributed architecture relies on robust communication systems and advanced software integration. 
The communication backbone utilizes ubiquitous high-performance antennas, where the main access point utilizes an Omni antenna, which provides 360-degree coverage, while our LoRaWAN transceivers offer a long-range, low-bandwidth backup communications. The robotic arm leverages ROS2's Movit Tool library for inverse kinematics calculations. Using a custom implementation of kinematics and dynamics library, we have optimized pet planning and obstacle avoidance with minimal computational overhead. Six motor drivers coordinate precisely through Raspberry Pi control units. Autonomous navigation is powered by RTEP map for simultaneous localization and mapping. The Jetson takes two processes input from our distributed camera array and the Stereo Z2 camera, generating real-time terrain models and identifying traversable paths. Our hybrid interface system gives operators flexibility with both web-based monitoring for remote access and RQT plugin frameworks for detailed system configuration and diagnostics. This tool approach ensures operators can manage the system effectively under varying network conditions. Together, these software systems form the intelligence behind our rover's capabilities. As a science top team of our rover project, our main goal is to investigate the potential signs of life and geological history of Mars by anal analyzing the soil and atmosphere. For soil analysis, we plan to perform breath tests and Sudan 3 to detect the presence of proteins and lipids. As part of our scientific investigation, we've also been conducting experiments using a UV based spectrophotometer to analyze the reflectance spectra of various soil samples. The goal is to observe and understand possible test results that we might get in the Mars region. This is a crucial step for our further onboard spectroscopy studies. Our research focuses on two main regions, Soil Planum and Mars Wells. Soil Planum is known for its volcanic features offering insights into Mars' internal activity and surface evolution. Mars Wells, on the other hand, is one of the most mineralogically diverse areas on Mars.